recognize the gentleman from Florida. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm here to testify in favor of a number of amendments to the NDAA. And while I recognize in the past I've not had the highest batting average with my amendments getting approved, I would note that one area where we were able to come to a sustainable agreement was on the matter of war powers. So maybe that'll give us a good momentum uh, as, I, as I make my presentation. And I would start it uh, speaking in favor of Mr. Sherman's amendment, uh, Lot 931, on precisely that matter. Uh, Mr. Sherman's amendment would constrain the DOD uh, to that uh, specified authority that they have and would preserve congressional war powers. And I think uh, particularly in times with so much international strife, it's important to re-articulate that, and I would support that, that amendment. Uh, second, I would ask that you support uh, Ms. Castor, of Florida's amendment uh, number 810. Uh, this amendment is joined in sponsorship by myself, but also by Mr. Christ, Ms. Demings, uh, Ms. Wasserman Schultz, uh, Ms. Frederica Wilson, and Ms. Salazar. Uh, this amendment would preserve the coast of Florida as an area for no oil and gas exploration. The reason that this is critically important for the NDAA is that there is testing that goes on off the coast of Florida that occurs nowhere else in the world with live fire. And the reason is because you have uh, 100,000 square miles of ocean that connects to uh, a, a great deal of land in North Florida. And so they're able to launch live fire over air, over water, and that's able to uh, land on land. And if we're increasingly pushed into the Indo-Pacific theater for that testing, it creates a number of national security risks because uh, we're able to ensure that there are not a whole lot of eyes on what occurs in the Northern Gulf as opposed to uh, Indopac. This is some of the only testing that occurs with directed energy and hypersonic components and uh, various forms of swarming technology. Uh, in uh, uh, the Air Force's tenure utilizing this range, they've dropped 550 bombs, 580 missiles, over 1.2 million rounds, uh, and uh, 637,000 countermeasures annually uh, in this test range. And if uh, right now, the Go Mesa provisions that this Congress put into law in a very bipartisan way have expired. And the only thing that preserves this uh, area of the Gulf from oil and gas exploration is an executive um, order that President Trump executed. And so uh, under Ms. Castor's leadership, I hope we're able to achieve that same bipartisan consensus that we achieved uh, during Go Mesa. I would, I would further note that, that there are some uh, in the Congress who are uncomfortable with any permanent moratorium on drilling. And so if it were to be the committee's preference to present to the House for consideration something that was not a permanent moratorium on drilling in this space, but instead was a 10-year extension of Go Mesa, uh, I've presented it, that opportunity in Amendment Number 594 and would ask for that to be viewed favorably in the event that there was not sufficient support for the Castor Amendment, which I believe is superior.